Welcome! This video is going to continue to, on the topic of adding activities to your course. This activity is going to look specifically at forums. Again, make sure that you do have your editing turned on before you can add activities to your course. Also, locate the week in which you want to add the activity. Just as you did for assignments, click on the drop-down list to add an activity. This time we're going to choose the option to add a forum. And a forum is a place that you can use or an activity that allows engagement in the class, allows you to facilitate conversations that you would normally have in a face-to-face -face classroom with your students in an online format. So the first thing is to describe what the forum is. I always remind my students that this is a forum and this will be to post their bio. There's different types of forums, general, general forums, question answer forums. We did have a discussion about the different types of forums in the lecture material, so you might want to review those different topics. You can also click on the question mark here to get more details. And then you want to provide the information about what the forum is supposed to do. Um, I often post um, the details of the forum, not just post your bio here, so that students can see the information right up front. Another nice feature about posting the details or the actual forum question here um, is as your course rolls from semester to semester, um, you won't have to go in and post the question each time. So here I have asked them for their orientation exercise to practice using forums and they need to post a bio, and so I give them a description of what it is they need to do. Then I indicate whether or not they should be subscribed. Um, for subscription is every time something is posted by you or students, an email will be generated 30 minutes after the post so that they get that in their email. Optional let students decide whether or not they want to. So you might want to read also about the forum types um, in the lecture material. Um, tracking helps students to see whether or not a new post has been posted to that forum. I find that helpful so that I can go in and see which forums have questions that I might need to respond to. Indicate whether or not you're going to allow students to attach files in a forum. Usually I don't, but that's entirely up to you. Indicate any threshold or blocking. Maybe you don't want students to overpost or take control of the forum, in, forum so you can indicate that here. Um, whether or not you're going to grade the forum will determine um, how you want to categorize it. Um, generally forums are just kind of a you know a place to communicate but it might be a way for you to facilitate participation in the course so you might choose to do a rating. Generally if I am grading it I'll do a sum or a count of ratings and then indicate how many points they would get for it. So I usually do five extra credit points. Um, I also find it helpful for the ratings if it is something that's graded that you might want to restrict when they can get gr graded on it. So it's just like an assignment, indicate when that forum posting is available. And then once you've set all those specifications, you can go ahead and save and return to your course. And just as our assignment did, the forum will be listed on your course homepage so that students can um, access it from here. When they click on the forum post, they'll see what it is that they need to do to prepare for that. And then they can add a new discussion topic and begin actually participating in the forum.